Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another interesting video. In this video, we are going to have an overview on the single line diagram of a 220 kV substation. We will see the different equipments used, we will see the arrangement, bus bar arrangement used and we will have a quick overview on the 220 kV substation. So video is really going to be an interesting one so make sure you watch it till the end. Now previously we have already talked about the different steps that we need to follow in order to have uh, in order to understand the single line diagram if you haven't seen that video i'll provide link for it down in the description you can go and check it out after this video so first of all uh, what you can see on your screen is the single line diagram of a 220 kv substation first we will understand the overview of this document so right hand side you can see the uh, different uh, equipments that we have used here and the symbols that we are using so power transformer this is the symbol current transformer this is the symbol circuit breaker this is the symbol and like that uh, the different symbols are used now what you can do is you can quickly pause this video for some time and just have a look at the different equipment and symbols that is used here and by the way if you're interested in learning quickly about the electrical power system you do not have much time to go th all through the available uh, information then the fundamental of electrical power system is the one-stop course for you this course will provide a quick and concise information on electricity generation transmission and distribution the course is available to enroll now you can definitely go and check it out i'll provide a link for it down in the description so after that we will see what are other details mentioned so uh, bottom you can see there is a uh, uh, title block mentioned and no other details are mentioned so current transformer details are not mentioned and at the center you can see there is a single line diagram here so now let us understand the flow here so here you can see it is mentioned here that the power it is coming from a 33 kv switch gear so basically there will be a 33 kv switch yard from that switch yard the supply is coming to this 220 kv switch yard from here it is connected to a 220 kV transformer so it is a step up transformer which is stepping up the power from 33 kV voltage from 33 kV to 220 kV and then after that there is a current transformer mentioned it's a PS that means it's a protection core current transformer 500 is the primary current and 1 ampere is the secondary output of that current transformer now here I'm assuming that you know the function and purpose of each substation equipment that we are using here if you do not know not to worry i have a dedicated video which explains the different purposes and function of the substation equipment i'll provide a link for that down in the description you can go and check it out after this video so after the current transformer there is a lightning arrestor which you know uh, takes care when there is a lightning stroke it will uh, divert that surge to the ground then we have used a 220 kV 1600 amps isolator. Now 1600 amps is the uh, rated current for that equipment, right? And here you can see the uh, isolator that we have used is a double brake type or it is called as a DBR type. It breaks from both the end, this and this. And along with this, we have also used two uh, earthing switches with the uh, isolator. After that, you can see uh, there is one more current transformer that is used. Now, this is a four core current transformer, core one, two, three, and four. So out of four cores, you can see uh, here is one, here is two, and here is three. So total three cores are the protection cores and the balance core, which is core number three, is the metering core, which is 1500, 1000 and 500 is the primary current, the different ratios that we have and secondary we have uh, one ampere as an output. Now again I have already talked about how you can read this parameter of cur current transformer. I will provide link for that video down in the description as well. So that is the current transformer we are using those three cores for protection and one core for metering purpose. Then moving on you can see here the circuit breaker is used. This is a SF6 circuit breaker. So of course almost all the circuit breakers that you will see nowadays are more mostly SF6 circuit breaker and it is capable of carrying 2500 amps regular uh, rated current and 40 kilo ampere is the short time current which is capable of uh, which circuit breaker is capable of breaking and as well as carrying for one second right clear 
and then moving on to the next arrangement you can see there are two different isolators are used which is connect one is getting connected to bus one one and another one is getting connected to bus two so here is the isolator again it is a dbr type double brake type and it is only one earthing switch is used now on this there is no earthing switch it's just the isolator now here you can notice one thing the current rating of isolator is 1600 ampere uh, breaker it is 2500 ampere and for ct it is 1500 ampere why is this because the uh, normal current will be much much lesser than this so it will be ideally it should be 1500 but generally the equipments are selected little bit on higher side so that is the reason why breaker is 2500 amps and isolator is 1600 amps but the actual current that will be flowing through the system will be uh, lesser and one thing that we should identify is that what type of bus bar arrangement this is so you can see here two bus are used so main bus 220 kv bus 1 and 220 kv bus 2 so this is a double bus bar arrangement used here now if you want to understand what is bus bar arrangement what is bus bar eames in substation i have just recently uploaded one video on that i'll provide a link for it down in the description it is a basic video which will tell you the importance of the bus bar arrangement so this is one bay so a 33 supply is coming from a 33 kv switch yard then we, we are stepping it up all the equipments and then it is getting connected to the different bus bars that we have here and then on top you can see a uh, metering PT is used uh, which is a potential transformer here this is the PT that we are using for measurement purpose and for that uh, isolator is also connected along with that so two different bus PTs you can see this is for bus 1 and this is for bus 2 now going to the right hand side you can see a similar bay is also used this is also a 33 kv supply coming from the 33 kv switch yard and all the same equipments you will see here power transformer ct disconnector uh, one more ct then the breaker and then uh, the connection is given via this uh, double brake disconnectors going to the right hand side you will find uh, one more bay which is called as bus coupler this is very very important here uh, just first understand how it is arranged so you can see the supply there are two isolators we have connected this is isolator one this is isolator two there is a current transformer also provided in the bus and then there is a dedicated breaker provided for that again it is of the same uh, current rating 2500 which is also the rated current for the bus bar right now the purpose of using bus coupler is to transfer some of the load from one bus to another bus when necessary in live condition right that is the purpose of bus coupler now if you look at the arrangement here we can actually transfer this particular bay from let's say bus 1 to bus 2 easily with the help of this existing arrangement what you can see how we can do that uh, we can turn off this circuit breaker here and then open this isolator let's say this, this was connected previously to the bus 1 we can open this uh, and then close this disconnector here and then close the breaker so we have transferred uh, this particular bay from bus 1 to bus 2 but the problem with what we did just now is that for that we need to take the complete shutdown right and then only we can do this transfer which is not what i want because one of the main purpose of substation is to make sure the supply reliability the supply continuity and with this method what we just did uh, it is not getting satisfied so definitely this is not feasible solution so for that purpose a bus coupler is used and with the help of this we can transfer one bus one uh, load from one bus to another load easily and if you are interested to understand how this operates and how the connections are made then again i have a video on that i'll provide a link for it down in the description you can go and check it out so that is the bus coupler then going to the right hand side we can see again the similar arrangement of disconnector you will see here from then there is a breaker then we also have a three core current transformer here so there is no uh, metering ct used in this particular bay you can see only protection cores are used and then going down you can see a isolator double break with two earthing switch one and two then there is a metering pt here 
and then there is a current transformer 2 which is using for dedicated metering cores are used here and then there is also a wave trap now what is a wave trap wave trap is a device which is used to block the communication signals that are entering uh, in the substation so it will block those high frequency communication signals and it will only allow the uh, power frequency signal which is at 50 or 60 hertz right and from that you can see uh, a lightning arrestor is again used and from this is where uh, it is going to a different substation clear so that is the overall arrangement of this particular substation that we just saw we there are two bays uh, coming from uh, uh, 33 kv switchyard one and two and then there is uh, this outgoing which is going to a different substation and then there is a bus coupler that we have used here right i hope uh, you got an overview of a single line diagram of a 220 kv substation if this was helpful then do like the video do share it with the people you think might be interested and if you are interested in learning more about single line diagrams then i have a dedicated playlist created just for you uh, again link for it is provided down in the description definitely go and check it out right so thank you so much for watching guys uh, i'll see you in the next one but till then keep watching keep learning